All right, welcome to Unit 10. In the first lesson of Unit 10, I'm going to teach you about something called a constant. Now, in programming, you have a variable and you have a constant. The difference between the two is that a variable can be changed in addition to being read and a constant can only be read. It is said to be read only. So let me show you an example of both so that you understand. First of all, with a variable, let's suppose we write integer height equals 5. Now this is a variable. The reason it is a variable is because I can change it. And changing it is very easy. I can write height equals 2. Or for example, I could create a pointer, set it to the address of height, and now I can change it like so. In all of these different ways I can change the value at that variable. So if we imagine that somewhere there is a memory address of height and at that address there's going to be with this first line of code there's going to be a value of 5 for example then as soon as I write this line of code the actual binary here is going to change to a 2 and then when I write this line of code, the actual binary is going to change to 10. So notice that with a variable, in this case height, you can change the value. Now when you change the value of a variable, its original value is gone because it's been overwritten. Now let's look at a constant. Now, the first question that I can imagine you have is, where would you use a constant? And the answer is you already have. If we create a line of code that looks like this, this right here is a constant. And I'll explain this in detail. So whenever you write a string of text in C and you enclose it within double quotes, you have created a string constant. Another term for that is a string literal. Same thing. They have the same meaning. What this means is that this string of text exists somewhere in memory. It's going to have a memory address and at that memory address there is going to be the string of text which means at the first byte there's going to be an S followed by a T then an R and so on at each byte in memory. Now if we have this line of code right here where we're creating a character pointer and pointing it to the memory address where this string of text begins and then we write for example it is very important that you understand that we have not changed this string of text to this that is not what we have done what we have done is we now have two string constants in memory and we have one pointer which we first of all point to this string and then we point to this string. Now I'm going to illustrate this with our 16 byte RAM. So let's first of all create a pointer. Oops. And set it to a simple string. Hello. So that means somewhere in memory, let's assume at position 8 in memory, there's going to be an H. Position 9, there's going to be an E. L. L. Oops. Oh. And of course, our termination character. So this is what it's going to look like in memory. So with this line of code, our pointer is going to contain the memory address 8 where this string of text begins. 
but also somewhere in memory let's say at position 1 in memory let's let's say that there's another string of text um, I'm going to say string pointer equals world okay so remember we're starting out with the value inside of string pointer being the memory address of the first string with this line of code I have not changed what is in memory I have changed nothing of what was already in memory what I'm doing instead with this line of code is I am first of all creating a new string of text which is going to exist in memory somewhere let's assume it it's going to go here that means there's going to be a W O R L D and of course no so with this line of code I am setting my pointer to point to the memory address of a new string. The other string is still there. I have two strings now. So both of these strings of text are constants. They are not changed. You don't change them. They're going to stay exactly the way they are. However, you can set a pointer the same pointer to point at two different strings. All you're doing is you're saying that instead of string pointer containing the memory address of this string, you are setting string pointer to contain the memory address of that string. You are not saying to change this string to that string, which it is easy to be confused about, and I'll show you why, because if I write my string equals hello and then I write my string equals world intuitively it looks like what I've done is I've changed the string of text from hello to world but what I've actually done is I've changed where my pointer is pointing instead of my pointer pointing to the memory address of this string my pointer is pointing to the memory address of this string so just to review a variable can be changed. It is both readable and writable. Variable is read write. A constant is read only, which means you can read it, but you cannot change it or write to it. Now having said that, there are mechanisms by which you can try to change a string of text by locating the exact memory position and then trying to change that memory position however you should not do that because in some cases it might work in some cases it might fail because it depends on where the string of text gets stored let me just explain that briefly let's start let's actually write a program and just see what happens so okay so let's start with this so that you can see what happens okay so first of all the string is hello now what happens if I try to write this I'm going to say what is at that memory address is now set to lowercase h now what I should be saying here with this line of code is locate this memory address which we know contains a capital H and change what is at that memory address to a lowercase h now if we run this code <laughs> it actually crashes uh, and if you look here notice the string is actually unchanged now the reason why is because this is a constant now in some cases that might actually work it depends on the compiler and, and various other things but it, what it really depends on is where this string is stored it could be stored in a part of memory that is read only and if that's the case then you just simply can't change it it's not going to let you or it might be stored 
in a part of memory that is not read-only, in which case it might let you change it, but you still shouldn't do it because it is, first of all, very bad practice, and second of all, it's not going to work on every compiler. It depends on the situation. So that's something to keep... So what I want you to understand from this is do not change a string constant using a pointer. Even if you try it in a program and you find out it works, you still shouldn't do that. I'll show you the right way to change a string of text later. So there you go. That concludes lesson 10.1 and on to the next lesson.